All right, guys, welcome to another video for the Redmi K20 Pro, also known as Mi 90 Pro, codenamed Rafael and Rafael In Recently, we did a poll in which y'all wanted to know how to install the latest TWRP or y'all want a fresh guide. And that is what we are doing for the K20 Pro today. We've done it for the 11X and the Poco X3 Pro as well. So specific guides for specific devices because for each device, the steps might be very, very slightly different. A majority of the part of the video might be from the other guides as well because those steps are common. So ignore that but follow those steps, don't ignore those steps. Uh, we have a K20 Pro running a custom build of Voltage OS, okay? We want to install the latest TWRP 3.6. The link of the files required are mentioned in the description. You will need a computer if you're doing it for the first time. If you're doing it using TWRP, it's very, very easy. So let's go ahead and install this. But before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video and it doesn't cost you anything. It really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think you like chatting with like-minded people, well, join us on Telegram. Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, we are present everywhere. And last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so talking about installing TWRP, there are two ways to do it. One, you already have TWRP and you can go to TWRP and do install image and update the TWRP. The method that we are following today is for new guys who are doing it for the first time. They've just unlocked their bootloader. So of course, you need a K20 Pro, which is more than 50% battery. You have an unlocked bootloader. To be on the safer side, back up all the information on your device. We won't be wiping it, but to be on the safer side, back up your valuable photos, videos, music, whatever you have. Okay, now once you've taken care of all of those, you will need the TWRP file, you will need the MI flash tool, you will need platform tools. These are the three files that you will need so that we can flash it using a computer. Updating, I won't be showing here because it's very, very easy. You can you know go ahead and just Google it and it's very simple. So we have everything ready. I will show you from the previous guide how to disable driver signifier enforcement and install the drivers and post that we will talk about the flashing process. Now, let's see here. So let me actually download it and show it to you. So we will Google platform tools, okay? So download platform tools for Android SDK manager. You click on this link, right? Now the latest is 31.0.3 and if you're using Windows, select this link over here. Say I'll save this to desktop and create a new folder called TWRP, okay? and I'll save it in this folder, okay? Now, the next thing that we will do is we will Google Mi Flash Tool, right? So let's download the official latest Mi Flash Tool from the Google Drive link that they have over here. Let's go here, download. Okay, let's click on save. Okay, so these two files are downloaded now, right? Now, let's go to the main screen over here. So now let's talk about this folder called twrp so the first thing that you'll do is you will extract platform tools you see this now click on this and select extract to and extract this to c drive or a drive of your choice and say name this anything say this is a flash folder for me right so i will name it flash and as you can see over here make sure there are no spaces over here i'll tell you why Okay, this is extracted. Now let's go to Mi Flash tool, extract this to the same folder. Okay, let's go to C drive, let's go to Flash. Okay, we've extracted both. Now let's go to C drive, let's go to Flash. You have the platform tools and you have Mi Flash over here. Okay, now as you can see, there is a Mi Flash.exe over here and platform tools is available over here. Now the first thing that we will do is we will prepare the PC to allow unsigned drivers. If you're doing this for the first time, this is very, very important. So let's go to the home screen, go to the start menu and select advanced startup options. Okay, you see this change advanced startup options. Okay, now we will select restart now. So before that, let's stop the recording over here. Okay, so I think you can see this over there. It might not show you clearly, but I'll give you the instructions because I cannot record or I don't have a separate camera set up to show you this. Anyway, so let's click on restart now. So your windows will restart depending on the hardware you have. 
we have a relatively decent uh, processor, 5600, so it should be start really quick. Okay, now over here, click on troubleshoot and then select advanced options. Okay, now over here, select startup settings. You will get this prompt, so select restart. Now, when we come back, it will give us a list of big fonts. What exactly do you want to do in advanced startup? The key item that we need to select here is F7. Disable driver signature enforcement. Okay, F7 disables driver signature enforcement. So we will select F7. There we go. All right, so now we've restarted with disable driver signature enforcement, remember? So what we'll do is we will go to C drive over here. Okay. And we will go to our flash folder, go to the MI flash folder and open this over here. Select yes, right? Now, ideally it should automatically display over here that you need to install the drivers if you're doing this for the first time. As I've already done it, it is not showing me that screen. So we will go to driver, you see this? Select on install. It will give you a pop-up like this. Install this anyway, once again, once again and then you're done, right? Now, so you've installed the drivers, you have platform tools and you've downloaded the recovery as well. So what you need to do is you need to go to the location where you've downloaded the TWRP for your K20 Pro. For me, it's under gadgets, Rafael recoveries. I'll copy this file and I'll paste it in the flash folder in platform tools. Okay, let's paste it here. Okay, then I will put the device in fast boot mode. So go to advanced and let's put it to the bootloader mode. Okay, now we are going to connect the device to the USB cable. So I'm going to take the phone away from here because the cable over here is running very, very slow. So let's connect the cable real quick. All right, so now in fast boot mode, the device is connected to the computer. One way to verify that is to go to device manager and see this Android bootloader interface. So in the address bar, type in CMD and type in fast boot space devices you do see the device is detected so now the recovery flashing command fast boot space flash space recovery space drag the recovery here there you go and hit enter there you go it says finished so our job on the pc is done okay now press and hold volume up and power the moment you see the redmi logo let the buttons go and you will see it boots into TWRP. There you go, swipe to allow modifications and select reboot, select recovery. Let's try once again that we have a sure flash. There you go. We will also boot into the ROM now. So let's reboot and select system just to make sure that TWRP is sticking around. Now in case you want to root, you can always go ahead and flash Magisk or mods of your choice. We have the beautiful Voltage OS booting over here. Okay, as you can see, we've booted into the ROM. We'll restart once again. Let's go ahead and unlock this baby here. Let's go to recovery and see that recovery is sticking around. All right, there you have it. We booted into TWRP just fine. So this was a quick step-by-step -step easy guide with all the download links to install TWRP on the Redmi K20 Pro, the latest version of TWRP. Let me know in the comment section if this video is helpful or not. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.